what's up guys? This is the 22500 Looper by Electroharmonix. And this is one of the most feature packed loop pedals that I've ever come across. It has two independent uh, tracks, so you can use it as a, a dual uh, track uh, recorder with independent foot switches uh, to stop, overdub, uh, and start uh, recording. It has independent volumes for those two tracks, but you can also use them in a, in a sequence. It has an input gain control and a dedicated stop switch that doubles as a tap tempo and you can start and stop the rhythms with that as well because it has built in rhythms. It has stereo ins and outs. You can also hook up a microphone that has a little trim pot for a microphone gain uh, and phantom power so you can also use your condenser microphones. And it stores your loops on an SD card, a regular SD card, uh, up to 32 gigabytes and then uh, you can also put them in your computer and go from there if you want or you can use different uh, SD cards if you like. Um, it also has octave and reverse effects and um, what's really cool is uh, that it also has, uh, despite uh, the huge amount of features, it still remains pretty easy to use. And I'll just show you some looping basics. Right, so the first thing I'll show you is how to erase the loop that I've just recorded and for that uh, I'll just bend down and let you see how this uh, interface works. When you push this button, the LED starts to blink and uh, then you can dial it to the right and find the one you need, which is erase. Press it again. So when it's not blinking anymore, that means that that is what, uh, what I'm about to do. I'm about to erase something. And in the display you see uh, bank number one and uh, the A, that means that in um, track A there is something there that is recorded. I just um, turn it to the right, it starts to blink, the letter A, and then press and hold the, uh, the uh, button, and now uh, track A is empty. So that's how you delete a loop. What I'm gonna do next is select a different bank. So again, I'll just push the button, and then I'm gonna turn the pot to the left, and find bank, hit it again, so when it goes solid, that means that I'm about to work with the banks now, and I can use, I can use the button to find a different bank. So I'm just gonna go to uh, bank five, and I'm gonna start recording a loop there. Um, rhythm was still pressed from uh, the intro song. If I press it again, this just becomes a regular stop switch, which is very conven convenient if you want to loop in, uh, in sync in time. You have a different stop switch. You don't have to double tap the record button. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just uh, record a loop and then record an overdub and then uh, stop the loop so you can see how that works. <laughs> Okay, now I'll show you the undo and redo function. So I wanna uh, undo the last recorded loop uh, and that works like this. I can also redo it. I can also double tap the record button per track to stop uh, to stop playback. Mm -hmm. 
like that. By standard, the loop mode is set to parallel on the 22500, which means that whatever you record onto loop B is going to be played back on top of uh, what you already recorded uh, on track A, uh, unless you turned off track A, but it's kind of like a dual track looper that way. You can also set it to sequential mode, and that way you can record an A and the B part, so a verse and the chorus, for example, and toggle between them using the foot switches, which is a very musical application, and there's not many loop pedals that offer this. I'll show you how you do that. What you do is you hit the, uh, the button, and then go to loop, and then this P over here stands for parallel. If I hit it, and then turn the knob to the right, set it to S for sequence, then hit the button again, and then I can just go back uh, to, uh, to my regular uh, uh, setting, so bank nine is selected, and now I can record an A and a B part. Check this out. I'll show you the reverse effect. There you have it, a look at the 22500 Looper by Electroharmonics, and I've only scratched the surface of what this pedal can do. I haven't demoed it with a microphone, uh, I haven't demoed uh, more of the rhythms except for in the intro song. It has a trigger mode that automatically starts recording when you, uh, when you hit it with a signal. Uh, it has an overdub mode which has, uh, allows you to have the loops degrade in quality. Um, uh, when, you, when they are repeated more often, kind of like a, a delay pedal. Um, what else can I say? With stereo ins and outs, it's ideal for keyboards and other instruments. And it also uh, there is also uh, this foot controller that you can buy, uh, which has an up and a down switch, and you can use that to uh, to scroll through the different banks. So I think um, it's a very very versatile loop pedal that has all the features you could ever want from uh, from a looper and from a guitarist's point of view I hope I've given you a good idea of what this pedal can do. Hope you liked it. Uh, please subscribe and visit ehx.com for more information on this pedal and other cool products. Signing off, JJ out.